Okay, this is part two of the E85 uh, GM truck conversion, the programming part. This is very, very easy. Okay. In the main window, I have uh, the E85 converted truck, and I'm comparing it to one that's non E85. So. E85 in the main, and I'm, the compare is a non-flex fuel. All right, you can see there's just a few uh, things you need to change. Um, the first one's going to be the, uh, the Stoic AFR. You're going to go in there, and you'll see that compared to a non-flex fuel vehicle, where the stoic is is a uh, constant across the entire uh, the entire range. That on the E85 vehicle it varies. So I'm gonna go kind of slow in case it's easier if you go to the uh, the uh, archive or the uh, what do you call it the HP tuners archive site and just find a flex fuel vehicle and then copy this out of it but um if you if you can't find one just hear the uh the figures you need to plug in this is the most important thing this is the one that controls the air fuel ratio for the flex fuel all right so you need to enter those figures in your There, and now we're going to move on down to the uh, actual sensor part. This is just basically turning on, I think, on all the vehicles that aren't um, flex fuel. They have this, this here set on virtual, but you need to change that to sensor. So that's here's the stop, here's the one without. Um, Flex fuel, and here's the one with. So just change that to sensor. And then we're going to come down here to fuel system, diagnostics, flex fuel, and then flex fuel sensor diag. And you need to en enable that. On the non flex fuel, it's disabled. On flex fuel, it's enabled. Okay. And then last, after you got those. And you need to come over here to uh, your DTCs, and there's three of those you need to change. You need to change P0178. Let's see here. Right here. So, flexible fuel sensor circuit low and same circuit high. You need to change those to mill on second air. And of course, SES enable. Check check that box. That one. There's one more, and that is P two two six nine. P two two six nine. Yeah, here, right here. That is P two two six nine. Water and fuel condition. You need to. Check the SES enable box and mill on second air. And then that's it. That's the only difference between the flex fuel and the, uh, the non-flex. Only changes you have to make. And one one thing you have to keep in mind, I of course I didn't have E85 in my tank when I first did this, so I drove to the to the gas station, you know, and I had the scanner running. And you want to make sure you don't have to do this, but I just wanted to, to see it. You're going to have to enable one of your PIDs. And I think it's alcohol percent down here. You need to have that one enabled. I think that's the one. And there's also, you'll see up here, ethanol fuel, SAE. Enable both of those at any rate. And it'll tell you the percentage of ethanol in the system. And when you fill up your, uh, your tank, it's not going to immediately start reading it. It takes a good, I would say, three to five minutes of steady driving before it actually registered the uh, 
the change in uh, alcohol level when I filled the tank up with the 85. I thought it didn't work at first, but then I started driving down the road and I saw it changing. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to be an instantaneous thing. As soon as you dump the gas in the tank, it's not going to, it's not going to read it. Uh, it takes a little while for it to pick it up, you know, because there's still residual fuel in the lines. So just keep that in mind, but it does work.